Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about ranges, wall ovens and cooktops. But first let's start with ranges. Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about ranges and stoves and wall ovens and cooktops. So everybody um, in North America has a, or mostly everybody, I'd say about 80%, has a standard uh, stove or range with a cooker in the front and the elements on the top. Everybody knows what I'm talking about. And these are uh, NEMA 1450R configuration. So these are usually the stove plugs that you see that you just plug your stove into. They're wired back to your panel with a piece of number 8 gauge, um, usually copper, which is good for 50 amps in our code, um, and they're limited by a 40 amp breaker. So a 40 amp breaker is usually something that you'll see in your panel. Sometimes you'll see uh, fuse blocks, um, and they'll usually have 40 amp uh, cartridge fuses in them as well. Now sometimes these are wired in uh, aluminum wire, uh, so anything over number 8, eight gauge wire, um, they can be wired with aluminum wire. So that has to be actually uh, number 6, 6-3 six conductor, which have to go under a 40 amp breaker or a, a 40 amp uh, fuse as well. Um, and they're just plug and play. Okay, so this is where the consumer should pay attention. If you have a wall oven or a cooktop, and this is very important. Um, I'm talking about the separate wall oven and the separate cooktop in your home. Uh, through the 70s, 80s, 90s, and even early 2000s, these were typically wired with a uh, 10 gauge wire or 10 3 conductor, which is rated at 30 amps. Now you can look inside your panel and you can see the 30 amp breakers or the 30 amp fuses, um, and these will do up to actually 7200 watts, which is the max that these will take. Um, if you derate them, then it's a little bit less. However, uh, most people will go to change out their new ovens and cooktops. Some of them have dual ovens in them and they can draw far more than 7200 watts. So be very weary and careful of that when you're replacing. Even if it's the same size, um, it's probably a good idea to check with your electrician if you can't confirm the wire yourself. But you should confirm that wire size because several times we get customers that will purchase a new oven and uh, we'll go in to hook it up and we can't use it because the uh, the wiring is too small and or we have to run a whole new complete wire. So on newer homes we usually run 8 or 6 gauge for uh, for the wall oven and we also run that for the cooktop. Now these cooktops they have the instant heating up, uh, the instapot and the induction uh, features in them. So they're quite a bit larger as well, um, sometimes up to 10,000 watts, which just simply won't work on uh, a piece of uh, 10 gauge wire. So what we'll usually have to do is, is run new wires for both. Um, so just make sure that when you're making that purchase uh, that you check with your local electrician uh, before you do that. Okay, that's it for today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Remember, never do your own electrical work. Always check with your own local licensed electrician. And these videos are filmed in Canada. We'll see you next time.